Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, I'll tell you what, we got a whole week load of 70 degree days coming up ahead of us. Another one today. And it's just been really nice weather. Nice weather as in there is no possible concern about being too cold, or freezing your butt off, or anything. Anything like that. Pardon me, I got hiccups. Anyway. Uh, well, there's been a little bit going on. Been a little busy with some things. As y'all remember, uh, not too awfully long ago, there was a WFRT news piece in which it was announced that Bob was back. That he'd been found, he's back, and so on and so forth. Well, not only is Bob back, but he's back doing his thing. Points of View has returned, and there is a new episode of Points of View up today. Link for that is in the description. And Bob is back to his usual thing of calling a boob a boob. And by that, we're not talking about slang for body parts. We're talking about boob as in it's a code word for idiot. And uh, so on like that. And... He, he don't pull no punches, Bob doesn't. He just uh, he calls it the way he sees it. And if he thinks it's something stupid, he'll call it something stupid. And he doesn't much care what anybody thinks. You know, that's the way Bob always has been. Anyway, that episode is up right now. And uh, so be sure to check that out. And now I'm going to cut to a clip that I recorded this afternoon, which I have just simply recently recovered, I've been the last four hours or so recovering from that. Uh, <laughs> I was out mowing the lawn today. And here's a clip that I recorded just a little bit after, just a couple minutes after I finished up the lawn. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here. I am totally out of breath right now. And my heart's pounding a mile a minute because I have just come from my first attack on the lawn for this season. But actually, technically speaking, it is my third attack on the lawn for the season. Those three attacks combine to a total of approximately one half of a wide part of the front yard. And it took me three sessions during which I went somewhere from five to ten minutes each. I think I've managed to do about four trips across the yard, five trips maybe, each time. And it leaves me like this. This means that at the current pace, it will take me approximately a week and a half to complete mowing the entire yard. By which time, of course, I will have to immediately start over again. I don't really think that's going to be a whole lot of fun. But, it's got to be done, and I'm the only one to do it. And uh, before somebody suggests it, it's been my experience that the age of having a neighborhood kid do the lawn for ten bucks is long gone. And besides which, everybody in this neighborhood is old enough that their kids have grown up and moved out and have kids of their own. So, that's not an issue. It's not something that's going to happen. I just have to get out after it. Do a little bit every day and hope that I can stay caught up with it. And if I fall too far behind, hope that I can afford the 
so I can actually come up with the 65 or 75 dollars that people want to do it for you these days every once every three or four months to keep it from falling too far behind I don't know I'm just saying that right now I'm not sure if I even mean it but that is about what it would cost and frankly now that I've got uh, to where my bills are pretty much caught up and I'm not overdrafting the bank right now I have two main concerns number one I want to keep from overdrafting the bank again for as long as possible and number two I want to pay up my doctor's bills is about uh, I don't know I think it's like a hundred and a half or something like that that I have to come up with to pay them for back due bills old past due stuff that they've actually had to send to collection I have to pay that off before they'll see me or specifically before they'll let me in to see the doctor So, that's what I'm concentrating on doing now. So if I can do that, get in to see him, I'm pretty sure that he can help with some of this. Because I'm really certain that my blood pressure has gone up some. I'm kind of feeling that. I know that my blood sugar is at a state where I would call it barely almost maybe thinking about being controlled although I can't tell for certain because I don't have any supplies left for doing testing with and I can't afford to buy that time was a few years ago when I was first diagnosed and a year or so before I was diagnosed those testing supplies could be had for free But between then and now, something has changed, and uh, I can't find any way of getting that kind of stuff for free anymore. And I've spent a fair amount of time looking. Spent a good amount of time Googling, and all I find is scams. Anyway. Working on it. Had a fun little adventure this morning. Must be something in the weather or whatever that's a uh, pressure change or something that's um, making the arthritis situation worse because my wrist, and this is on my right hand, my good hand, was hurting so much and my right shoulder was hurting so much that this morning I picked up a mug of coffee and damn near dropped it because I couldn't keep a grip on it enough to keep it from dropping. I did narrowly avoid dropping it, but only narrowly. And you know, when you can't pick up a mug of coffee without worrying about dropping it, that's bad. That is genuinely bad. So, uh, I'm going to try very hard to focus on getting that doctor bill caught up enough that he will actually see me. And then I'm going to hope and pray that I can come up with the money to buy the prescriptions I know he's going to give me. For diabetic testing supplies, I know he's going to prescribe me with insulin and maybe a couple of other pills for, uh, well, a couple of pills or whatever for blood sugar and probably something for, something like Lasix or something like that. And uh, all the testing supplies and so on. I, I am hopeful. I'm thinking I might, maybe, just be able to do it. But I won't know for sure until sometime next month. Right now I'm just going to concentrate on getting through the rest of this one. And getting my lawn mowed. <laughs> oh man. I remember when a yard like I have now, in fact, this very yard, I used to do this whole thing about an hour and a half to two hours in one swoop, all at once, one go. 
without even stopping for a break. Now look at me now. I do five trips across the yard and I gotta stop for a 10 minute break. And I'm good for like maybe three of those in one day. And then I have to stop for the rest of the day. Or I will fall apart and pass out. You know, they say that you have to be careful. You know, people occasionally tell me, you know, be careful, don't do too much, yada, yada, yada. But you know, I, I know my limits. I can tell when I'm approaching my limits, which is where I'm at right now. I know that if I try to do any more today, somebody will find me laying on my driveway or out in my yard. And uh, since I don't want that to happen, I'm done for the day. <laughs> and now, I'm going to get another bottle of cold water and relax and get to where I can breathe without huffing and puffing. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'm out of here. And oh, well, after that, I'll be working on a Hermitcraft episode of some kind or another. Have a good one, everybody. I certainly will. Such a false